by the governor of River State, His Excellency Yesu Ezewawike, commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Service Star of River State, Life Bencher. My Lord, I am not going to say anything now. But I will say we will reserve it tomorrow. Because if I say anything now, then what I will do in uh, tomorrow. And moreover, these comedians are here. If time you say something, maybe they are doing some video in and what kind of thing. You see what small way come here. You see, see the way the government of Russia talks. They come and mimic you. Come on, hold me even another year. You know. So, but what is important to write what I found out in life, and which I always encourage everybody, there's no position you occupy that you can do something that for everybody to like. It's not possible. Remember when my colleague, the governor for your state, hosted you, and he was bragging, which he was also right, to have produced for the first time or your state to produce the first CGM. And I told him if I was him, I would even brag more than whatever it is. But he said, and I said, my Lord, you must ask God, why me now? What role, God, do you want me to play? What will be my contribution tomorrow? That I, I can say I have made for my children to be what it's supposed to be. The founding fathers of this country. And I said, my Lord, you have a role to play. And you must also say, my God, guide me. This is the most tempting period for any judicial officer. This is the most crucial period for any judicial officer. Because any time we are going to transition period, that's the crisis we have. Will Nigeria survive? Will there be democracy? My Lord, everything falls on the judiciary. We politicians will have our ways. We have our ways. Everything, whether good or bad, it is you. The judiciary that is the bad. As far as we are concerned, we the politicians were sent. The only people that are bad, the judiciary. We will not do our work at the end of the day, the judiciary. We will not do what we are supposed to do at the end of the day, the judiciary. Because you can't come to the public to speak, to defend yourself. And so this is the most crucial period for you. If you're a Christian, this is the time to kneel down to pray. If you're a Muslim, this is the time for you to kneel down to pray. To say, God, what do I do? Nigeria may collapse if I don't know what to save this country. This is the most crucial time. And so I urge you, the God that brought you now should also give you all the wisdom and your colleagues to see that this country is united. To see that democracy survives in this country. So, that is the only advice I can give now. Tomorrow is the commission of the project. We'll talk about the project uh, tomorrow. And yeah, brother justices and judges that are here, be firm, be strong. I told my wife one day, listen, this job we are doing is not an easy job. And since you know it's not an easy job, me too, I will not be easy for anybody. I will not. It doesn't matter who likes me, who does not like me. The truth must be told at all times. I 
I was telling someone, why are you afraid of death? Dana, Dana, Christ in somebody's house. Who never bought Dana ticket? Let you know be that. I was the one, I went to buy Dana ticket and I, I was, I was telling them, why wouldn't you give me a ticket? And it's okay. Since this man, this woman, is trying to put pressure on us, our plan will never, never. Then some of them were just, maybe staying in the house, some went out, and that are crashed. You know, some people say, and they died. And then you ask, God, what did they do? What was the offense? If there was any problem with uh, Dana, why not let them land somewhere and let them die only on their own? But to where I kill innocent people in the houses, that tells you that death will come when it will uh, come. You don't need to be afraid. The job you are doing is a difficult one. It's a tasking one. You cannot satisfy everybody. There's nothing you will ever do. There's no other side of the story. So continue to encourage your colleagues. Both retired who may have one assignment to do so that they know that. Well, whatever it is, you can say, you can beat your chest. I've done my best. Let God take control. Whatever will happen, will happen. That's what I have survived in this state. It's God. It's not anybody. It's not by anybody. I've survived it. And anybody can survive it. You, you can survive it. Your colleagues can survive it. But we're going to wear, will be turbulent. The kind of turbulence you will see. Like when I was going to Abia yesterday, where we were to land, me and the governor of uh, uh, Benway, it was only today he told me, my brother, you know, what was happening yesterday, the, the way you are doing, my brother, me too, I was afraid though. <laughs> Just today, he did it, because when we were going to worry, I don't know what was happening. You know, when you are taking off, you will see the tires have gone in. It has, it's, oh, boom, it's going up. So, we are going, boom, okay, the tires have gone in. Boom, I said, oh boy, that will never go in. What is going on? And we are flying at a low level. I said, hey, my brother, I don't think I'm too comfortable here with you. So, I thought we were landing. The leg, boom, up. I said, ah, and I called the, the, the lady, come. Now I asked this pilot, what is going on? He said, I have no problem. I said, no problem, it's okay. He now brought me a uh, meat pie, and uh, I had to get boom. I said, take this. And the officer said, oh, something will be with now. But see, that is mine. Until we landed. He didn't tell me, it was when we were not coming. He said, oh boy, I won't lie to you. <laughs> but yesterday, even me, even me, I won't lie, I didn't tell you, but even me, I wasn't too comfortable. <laughs> so that's how life is uh, it's all about. Now, nothing we can uh, do. That also tells you that, don't be afraid, anything can happen any time. Well, well, nobody prays it should happen, but one day, anything will happen. My wife doesn't want to hear that when I say, look, my wife, I'm going on if I don't come back. He said, stop that. I said, no, no, no. It's a reality. I'm not saying I won't come back. But I said, in case I don't come back. Because I'm not in charge. I've only prayed. It's not all our prayers that are answered. We pray. If you, if you see politicians now, they are going to one pastor to the other. People are praying. But how many people that the prayer will be answered? One person's prayer will be answer. So that's how life is and that's how I've seen life to be. So I want to thank you and everybody that has come here today. Just only for me it's not I owe a duty. If you know how my life, how I came, it's judiciary that has saved me in life, not saving me in election. There's nothing I've not passed through. So if there was no judiciary, 
I wouldn't have been here. Murder cases, and robbery cases, everything. But see where God has kept me today. So if you were not there, it would not have been a... That's why for me, whatever I can do to make sure. Some people say, oh, why will you go and spend money in a way law school? Why this? I said, no, no, you are getting it wrong. You are getting it wrong. That is not it. This is my constituency. If today I leave office and they, they invite me to present paper and I say, you know, the judiciary have not done this. Somebody will ask me, when you were there, what was your own uh, contribution? They gave you the opportunity. Even in your state, what was the position of the judiciary? Now you are coming now to talk. I said, no, I will not be a victim of that. I will do everything I can, not just because it's my constituency, but it's an important arm of government. If Nigeria must get it right, judiciary must be right. If not, we cannot get it uh, right. There cannot be any development without the independence of the judiciary. And I believe that God has called you now to say, look, let me contribute to make sure that this country is great. So I thank all of you who have come here to honor us, to share some water with us. Tomorrow, we'll talk about the project. We'll talk about the Federal Judicial Service Commission. We'll talk about Justin Merrill delay. There's another thing that we'll talk if we have the time. But if we don't have the time, and I did, who have the time. I thank all of you, and God bless you. Your Excellences, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to give his address, May I invite His Lordship, Honorable Justice Ulukayade Ariwola, GCON. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.